Now let's talk a little bit about looking for tells. While the majority of your energy on the turn should be dedicated to going through the details of the hand, you shouldn't abandon the presence of any physical tells your opponent might be giving off. Even if you don't think you're noticing anything consciously, your subconscious mind works in mysterious ways. If the subconscious mind recognizes something, it will help you make a better decision. Some call it instinct, intuition, feel, whatever. I believe that it's more like tapping into a vast database that has seen thousands of similar situations and recognizes patterns in behavior. What's difficult about this process is that being in tune with or having a conversation with yourself, including your subconscious mind, isn't an exact science. It doesn't quite work like, hey, subconscious mind, is he bluffing or what? Should I call him or fold? I'm not going to claim to be an expert on the subconscious mind and how it works, but I will say that I genuinely believe that sometimes when you look at someone, despite the fact that you don't think you see anything peculiar, you really are. Despite the fact that you can't verbalize what tell you're really seeing, it's there. A perfect example of this is my good friend Jennifer Harmon. Jennifer has an innate ability to sniff out bluffs and read weakness in her opponents. She'll often make some excellent risky calls in high pressure situations, but when you ask her why she called, she might say, I don't know, because I figured he was bluffing. But how did you know that, Jennifer? Was it the way he played his hand? Did you pick up a tell? What was it? And she might say something like, I don't know, something just told me he was bluffing. What told her was her subconscious mind that's played so many hands that it's become very good at spotting tells and relaying them to Jennifer's conscious mind. Jennifer does herself a big favor by listening to those feelings. Having said that, there are some things you can look for on a conscious level that should help you make good decisions. The first turn tell that I'd like to talk a little bit about is the early reacher. Some players have a tendency to reach for their chips prematurely. Be on the lookout for that. If you're planning on betting against one of these players, make sure you take your time and are very deliberate. A few extra seconds and your opponent may give away his intentions before you actually make your bet. Be careful though, as some of your opponents are actors and will reach for their chips to discourage you from betting. Now, another tell you should be looking out for on the turn is the speed of their action. Pay close attention to how long it generally takes an opponent to call a bet on the turn and you may pick up some patterns. For example, if a player calls quickly on the turn, that could mean that they're on a draw and aren't thinking about whether or not they have the best hand. A quick call could mean something completely different too. A quick call from your opponent may signify that he's trying to discourage you from betting the river, almost like saying, I got you man, don't even think about betting the river because I'm calling you down. With every tell, there could be various meanings. It's your job to accurately discern what your opponent is trying to accomplish with his actions. Another tell that we should look for is how people are protecting their hand. If you find yourself up against a player who has a tell based on the way that they look at their hand, you'll be able to exploit it. Basically, you should focus on how well an opponent is protecting it. If they normally have a chip on their cards, but this time they don't, that could mean that they aren't all that interested in this particular hand. Or conversely, if they seem overly protective of their hand, it could signify that they're hanging on to that monster and don't want anything to happen to it. Another tell, keep your eyes peeled for what I call quick checkers. Paying attention at all times is the best way to pick up on physical tells. Often, players will check very quickly on the turn, and that means something. Depending on the player, that could mean that they plan on check raising you, or it could mean that they're on a draw. It's different with all players, so you should label the action as one way or the other. Every individual case is different, and it's your job to figure it out. I can't do everything for you, okay? <laughs>